Well, hello. I like this hat. That's right. Pretty sweet, right? On the side there. Oh, yes. I got this at the, uh, um, I guess, the opening of the lock this season. <laughs> I was just recording, and then Brent walked up and said, here you go. So it's finally weather for hat appropriate. Figure I'd sport this new. Looks pretty good. Look at that. It's not bad. Not bad. Don't worry. Argos here. Look at him. No coat. 60 degrees. I almost don't need this jacket. But I'll be walking back into the wind. I'll be kind of glad I have it here soon. But it's enough about me. Enough about the weather. We're not here for either. <laughs> We're here for the ships. In Argo, I just have to say, look at that. He just, he has skills. He just does. Let me, let me show you what he's done. All right. Well. <laughs> Ooh. Dang it. That spoiled my surprise a little bit. <laughs> That, uh, that horn was not the Saginaw, who we see here, tied up at the end of the pier. I'm assuming they're waiting their turn to enter the lock, um, which is it's a little weird to be tied up there. Normally, they would tie up right there. So I don't know if something else is going on or what, but, uh, oh yes, there's a Saginaw. And I seem to think, let me zoom in here. Ooh. I don't know what those are, those cylinders. I don't remember them being there though. Maybe my memory is just fuzzy. Hard to say, hard to say. You can see the steel plant is running. Right there. And the direction of the wind. So, glad to not be downwind of it. Uh, yesterday we were downwind and I kept finding myself doing the, <clears throat> you know, clearing your throat <clears throat> all day long. So, glad that's not today. And, we also have, we can see, that little horn blast was the Presque Isle leaving the lock. Now the gate's been opened for just a little bit. So I was, I kind of figured they were already on the way. So I was a little surprised to hear that horn blast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the Presque Isle. Um, last time I saw the Prescott, which would have been was it Wednesday or Thursday last week. This is Tuesday the 16th. Uh, it was really windy, like super windy. Windy enough, like it stopped me in my tracks a couple times. So nice to see them on a little nicer day. I'm just going to, oh, I can't really see the screen, but you see that in the States we call it a semi-truck, in Canada they call it a semi-truck, with the two coils on it. So that's one coil per trailer, just to give you an idea how heavy they are when you see them load the Ironmaster barge full of those coils, like it's a significant amount of weight. It really is. I think each one of those weighs about 20 to 30 tons. So, there's the Presque Isle. I think I will maybe mosey on up here a little bit. Get a little different shot. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to wait for them. Well, we'll see. They're making pretty good progress, it looks like. Or it's just the, uh, you know, the foreshortening effect when something's coming straight towards you. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to gauge the speed and distance. So, still kind of weird to not have snow piles here. Because <laughs> there were so many here this winter. Um, so many more the previous winter. You can actually see here, we're walking up to it. The remnants of a pile of snow. That was right there. Just dirt and rocks. What do you think there, dog? There's a lot of dogs that get walked around here, so he is just loving the smells. So many things to sniff. Yeah, that's uh, so kind of a decent spot. Like I'm pretty tall and this is over my head. There we go. That's the Presque Isle. I know I've said this before, but it always looks like they're sitting a little low. But I think that's just, just how, how she rides. And when I was walking, I was thinking, eh, she's making pretty good progress. But now as I'm standing here, I'm like, hey, she's kind of <laughs> going kind of slow. Here, uh, if I can see, can you see the guy walking? See the green shirt? He's walking across the Bastille Bridge there, like on the archway. That's kind of neat. Never seen that before. Uh -huh. That's a first, first for me. Almost like he's climbing down. There's a ladder in there. Huh. That's kind of neat. I keep turning. I think I'm trying not to turn the phone, but this Argo keeps pulling on my other arm, and I'm like, well, what is he seeing? <laughs> it's just people walking around. Let's see how the Presque Isle is doing. Still plugging along here. Yeah, they are the only thousand foot tug barge. And they're an integrated tug barge. As opposed to the Van Eckevorts that are an articulated tug barge. Oh, I'm downwind. Downwind to West Pier driving. Oh, that is not helping my hunger. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh, that smells really good. If you're ever here, highly recommend going to West Pier Drive-In. It's fantastic. This is where I'm always torn. <laughs> right here. Uh, do I wait for them? Or do I keep going? I don't think I'm fast enough. I think I know I'm not fast enough to try to get around the bridge and all that on the other side of the buildings and still catch her. I know I'm not fast enough for it. Oh, it smells so good. You can see West Pier Drive in there. Just as a reminder, if you're here and you go to West Pier, bring cash. Your card will not be accepted. Cash only. It's worth it though. It really is. It's so good. Oh, they're making me hungry. Yeah, I guess they're doing a pretty good clip here. I 
I think I'll put in some time lapse here and uh, we'll just speed this up and get them here a little faster. All right, we're back. Actually wasn't too bad. What are they running? 21 feet of ballast. So there's a, like two stories of the Presque Isle under the water that we can't see. Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to back up here if I can get above this fence. I'm going to wave. I don't think there's much chance of getting a salute. It doesn't happen very often here. But I'm going to wave anyway. I'm actually moving along a pretty good clip. Should definitely uh, sped up a touch. Once your wheelhouse gets past the, um, the bridge, there we go. She'll radio in saying she's uh, clear of the lock. Cool, someone there on the bow. Definitely speeding up a bit. What a nice day. 60 degrees. Like even the wind has died down a little. That's lovely. See the Prescal is running pretty clean. All you see really is heat coming out of the stacks up there. <laughs> you can see those shields there. Which I say the wind died down, then a little gust comes up, but. Pretty cool. that boat butt. 
Presque Isle. Safe travels to you and the crew. Hopefully I'll see you in just a couple days. About a day there, a day to load, and a day to get back ish, assuming they don't have to wait. We got some weather coming, pretty good wind coming up tomorrow, so that might hold them up for a day. So they might be back by the weekend. I guess we'll see. But until then, Presque Isle, of course, Saginaw over there. I'm going to call that a double. They're both fired up. They may not be both moving. That's definitely a twofer. Definitely a twofer. <laughs> on that note, I'm going to be on the way. So, are you ready? He is ready. Let's go finish this walk, dog. We will be back. Anything to say, Argo? Anything to say? Just hurry up and go? Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs>